welcome back and today I'm going to talk about this guy on the bottom here. This is the Streetwalker Roller Backpack version 2.0 by Think Tank. Um, I just got this yesterday and they sent it out for me to take a look and review and I am seriously excited about this because I have this uh, Signature 13 also from Think Tank and it has the, uh, the pass-through uh, feature on the back and I didn't have a roller um, luggage or roller backpack that would work together with this and now I do and that in and of itself is fantastic so the the bottom guy the backpack will be taking a pretty in-depth look at that I'm gonna uh, pull these apart and, and continue on in just a second but it will handle two DSLRs and a whole bunch of lenses and then this will handle a DSLR and lenses so in these two combined I can actually have my entire wedding rig basically completely um, all, all kind of nice and handy setup so that when I walk into a venue, uh, it, it's a piece of cake. Um, now, I already had a Think Tank backpack, and it's virtually identical to this, except minus the rollers uh, and the ability to do this. Um, and so that backpack, I think, is going to actually probably... Uh, I, I'm still going to have to figure out how I'm going to pack everything in, but I use a lot of off-camera flash, and I think I might just turn that into my lighting bag. Um, and just have exclusively lighting in that bag, or maybe lighting and filters, um, and then have my, my cameras and lenses hang out in these two bags. Um, what I have traditionally done, I shoot a 5D Mark IV, but then I also have a 7D Mark II, because I have a lot of, um, I do a lot of surf photography, and with that I wanted the crop sensor, and I want to uh, have a 400 millimeter lens. So um, that, I think, is going to probably live in this guy, while the 5D Mark IV and, uh, and my portrait kit will be in here. So it's just an absolutely awesome pairing of two great bags. So, all right, let me get rid of this here, and I'll be back in two seconds, and we'll, we'll break this down a little bit more and take a look at the bag. Okay, so here for a close-up look at the bag. First of all, you have two nice pockets in the front, on the, uh, on the front of the bag. My personal use for these, and this is virtually identical to my uh, previous Think Tank uh, uh, backpack, so I kind of already have my, my use case all set up for these. This one I use for my battery charger and my spent batteries. So I keep the charger right in here, it fits in this is a nice expandable pouch, and then as I get a spent battery or two or three, I pop them in there. When I get back to the hotel at night, or if I'm back home, um, that's uh, I grab it, I have access to it real fast and easy without digging into my stuff. So that's what I do with that one. This is my um, my source for this, I put my um, memory card pouch in here, I um, there's a lot of compartments in here for pens and, and business cards and whatnot. Um, and so a lot of your smaller devices can go in here. Um, I also tend to tuck my cell phone in here. Um, but yeah, just a great storage for your little stuff. Um, working our way around the bag, if you go to the top here, there's a zipper area that you unzip. And when you reach in here, you have another little Velcro cover. And then you actually find the lever, and that is your retractable lever for your airport uh, tote or your, your rolling tote. Um, one nice, super cool detail about this, um, well, first of all, it's a nice rubberized grip, so you can actually, um, uh, as you're dragging this along or rolling it, it's, it's, it's a very comfortable grip. It's not like a hard plastic. Um, but then the other thing is, this is user replaceable, so if something does damage this, you don't have to send it all the way in for repair or scrap the bag and buy a new one. You can order the spare part yourself and replace it, which I think is an exceptionally uh, thoughtful detail because a lot of companies would much rather just sell you another bag. Um, on the side of the bag, you have a water uh, bottle holder here, and then you have a nice big zipping bag here. Um, this has got a nice little tether on it, um, it's a Velcro tether so that you can actually Velcro it around uh, uh, some, some object that you'd want to keep tethered there, maybe your keys. And then on the other side, it's the exact same deal on, on here. Um, in the back, oh, 
dirt and dust and a little bit of dog hair. All right, so the back actually has your backpack shoulder handles. You fold this down and get it out of the way, and it will actually Velcro around so that it's out of the way. And then you get these shoulder straps out, and that's how you carry it on your back. Um, I'm not going to actually unfold the entire thing because I will then I just have to fold it right back up. Um, the wheels and the housings are both uh, user replaceable, just exactly the same as the as the, um, the the aluminum lever. So if these get uh, scuffed up or dinged up, they also have really really high end bearings and the the roller itself. Um, this is like really great quality stuff. It's not a a real cheap clunky uh, wheel. So that that again, big big thumbs up. All right, so let's flip it over and take a look inside the bag. So inside is laid out almost identical to the um, to the old backpack that I had. Um, the version one. There's lots of different uh, Velcro adapters in here. I've taken one of them out in order to put my this body in here. This is a 7D Mark II with a 100 to 400 millimeter lens on here. Um, it will uh, actually accommodate up to a 200 to 400 millimeter lens right in this main thing uh, mounted on your body. So that's great. You can then uh, configure in Obviously, uh, flashes would fit in over here real nice. Um, you you have uh, you can take one of these out and put a camera body sideways. Over here, you can fit a 70 to 200 plus a 24 to 70, 16 to 35. Um, I actually left my uh, lens bag at home today, so I don't have a bunch of lenses actually in here. Um, I just didn't bring them to the studio, but I just dropped my uh, my macro in there just to kind of put one item in there. Um, so yeah, I mean, all kinds of room, and you can obviously configure it uh, to whatever whatever way you would want. Um, now down, if we look at inside here, this is really, really a nice addition. This is a 15.4 inch lap, uh, MacBook Pro laptop, and then you have two clear compartments in here. This, and I haven't unwrapped this yet, but this is your tripod harness. And the harness, actually, you use these four D-loops, you, you take your tripod and lay it right here, and then you harness it right on, and then you strap this thing on with the backpack, shoulder, uh, the shoulder harness, and you trot right on out through the woods. So, um, an absolutely amazing design. This is ab just as uh, uh, everything that you could want. And, and again, the rollers, super, super nice. Uh, huge improvement over the version one. And, uh, and everybody should get one, like, right away. Um, awesome. Um, if you like this information, if it's helpful to you, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. I am actually in the process for the month of June 2017, which is when this uh, review is coming out, we'll be doing a uh, giveaway from Think Tank. They're going to give away, uh, not this bag, it's a different one, and I will be doing a review on that particular bag um, uh, probably within the next day or so.